Hello, today we are going to read a book called The Runaway Pea by Jatan Poskit and Alex Wilmore. It's six o'clock and we are ready for tea. But look, what's that? It's a runaway pea. He pinged off the plate with incredible force. Oh no. All the others are worried about him. Then slipped and went splat in a puddle of sauce. Now they're all laughing at him. The carrots and beans were all laughing with glee. You didn't get far, you piddling pea. Just watch, said the bee. I've hardly begun. I might only be small, but I want to have fun. The pea shot away with a skip and a hop. Then into the dog bowl he fell with a plop. Climb, little pea, climb up the side, quick, before Boris's mouth opens wide. Who's Boris? The runaway pea jumped amazingly high and so nearly landed in Boris's eye. Oh, Boris is the dog. He rolled along Boris's back in a flash, but a flick of the tail sent him flying off. <gasps> Splash! Oh no, where am I? He wondered, his head really hurt. Get out of my tank, said Adele with a squirt. He's in a fish aquarium. He fell on a mouse trap, which snapped with a bang and bounced off a cobweb that stretched and went twang. He came to a rest on a high dusty shelf. Shelf, so far, so good, he smiled. Smiled the pea to himself. Surely there's nothing else left to go wrong. Then a fan started up and it blew him along. And what's that below with an orangey glow? It's the slot in the top of the toaster. Oh no! In the pea fell, unable to stop. <gasps> He'll be toasted. Then the toaster pinged up with an almighty pop. Look at his face. Oh! cried the pea. My bottom's on fire! <laughs> Does a pea have a bottom? <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> As he flew straight on into the tumbling dryer. Buffered and battered and bounced all about, the pea was so glad when he finally got out, he collapsed on a shirt that had newly been washed. Look out, little pea, or you're going to get squashed. I'm surprised he made it this far. I'm surprised that he didn't get squashed earlier. He tumbled and rolled along, out of control, under the fridge to a dark sticky hole. Too wary to move, he just let out a groan, then got a strange feeling he wasn't alone. Out of the gloom came mysterious shapes, a dried up banana and two moldy grapes. Oh dear, said the pea, what happened to you? We were naughty, they said. We all ran away too. We don't recommend it, they whimpered quite sadly. You get old and wrinkled and start to smell badly. I've changed my mind, said the runaway pea. I'll get back on that plate and be ready for tea. You won't, said the grapes, because you've been on the floor, runaway pea. You're not loved anymore. Yeah, you're dirty, pea. The little pea trembled. He knew it was true. There was nowhere to go for him, nothing to do. Helpless and hopeless and feeling forlorn, his tired eyes closed and he gave a big yawn. But a magic thing happened while he was asleep. <laughs> He woke up beside the recycling heap. The soil was soft and the weather was sunny and soon the pea started to feel a bit funny. Under the ground he was sprouting some roots and out of his top he was shooting out shoots. The shoots all had pots and inside everyone was a party of new peas all bursting with fun. Wow. This reminds me of Jack and the Beanstalk. So if you should ever hear pop, ping, or splat, or a splash in the sink, or a yowl from the cat, or a rapidly tap in the cupboard, then please don't panic. It's only those runaway bees. The end.